Right, so I played Res back in 2008 when this came out, and it was like the summer of arcade. I had heard about it because um, Gabe from Penny Arcade is really into this game. I think for a long time it was his favorite game of all time for the Dreamcast. Uh, this game originally came with the... Well, I'm not sure if you could get them in the in the U.S., but in Japan it came with what were called the Trance Vibrators. Because you're supposed to... I think there's even an option in the 360 version to set up multiple 360 controllers as Trance Vibrators around your body as you play it. Um, it seems like the audio in this game is fairly loud, so I'm going to turn it down a hair here. As always, let me know if the audio balance is janky later on. A game that isn't blind, I know, right? Now, I don't remember any of the level design or anything. I remember the basic concept, though. It's pretty cool. You did play it on Dreamcast? Did you have a trance vibrator? <laughs> uh, controls. Shoot A button. Overdrive B button, vibration on. If I had a second 360 controller, I could put it under my butt and turn on trance vibration, but that's okay. Point display for de defeated viruses. Um, I think, I don't think I did. I think I probably got to the last level and stopped. I'm not sure. I honestly don't remember anything from it other than the basic mechanic purpose of the game. The world has become massively overpopulated, the rapidly expanding network. Society has been crippled by rising crime rates and as the verge of meltdown, a new system, Project K, has been created. Alright. Isn't there another game that came out for the Kinect that was kind of inspired by Rez? Child of Eden or something? That's super weird, Nodovan. All right, so we got bonus stages, special mode, score attack, traveling is a special mode for beginners. I actually looked this up um, when I was testing beforehand, and this will not let you do the final level, so we're not going to do traveling mode. The fact that I'm able to access all five stages tells me I probably at least got to area five when I played it before, but I don't remember anything from it, so let's go ahead and start. You'll see what the deal is pretty quickly. Music's pretty great. Feels like a VR game before VR was a thing. And I'm kind of just holding down the attack button and moving over enemies and releasing. So, I know if that helps. Audio connection to what you're doing is a cool concept. There's a lot of games that do that now. Even quieter, we'll try. Now, even though I don't have the trance vibrator turned on, the controller is pulsing and beat with the song, especially when I release shots. It gets much more intense. So this would be a cool one to play on Switch with the HD rumble. They get those blue things automatically. I don't remember what they do. I think the Connect version had you just kind of like touching what was on the screen. They only made a Connect version of Res, but they made a game inspired by Res. Or the Connect. I'm still working on turning it down. I appreciate those patience. 
it should be a little bit more reasonable. Let me know if it's still too loud. Cool. Looping fills the bar on the bottom left, which gives you an extra point of HP when it fills. Oh, cool, thank you. Do I have to shoot it? Really intense vibration as the level progresses. Before it was only really buzzing whenever I'd attack. I do have to shoot it. Okay, keep that in mind. Thank you. I got it. Cool. I feel better when I land those by holding the button down. Sometimes I forget. Does overdrive just automatically kill all the enemies in the screen or something? Or automatically target everything on the screen? Music focus rail shooter. Hmm. Frequency or something like that, or amplitude? Looks like it's not that hard to target. I understand how it works now. The most gamey game you've seen in a while, yeah. Very arcadey, right? You auto shoot everything for a few seconds. Okay, thank you. I can see why Gabe from Penny Arcade liked this so much. Like, the way that he consumes games, he's looking for pretty games. And this game looks pretty close to this on the Dreamcast, if you ever watch a gameplay video of it. They just made it widescreen for the 360 release. Res HD. Oh, cool. Didn't realize that getting full hit points changed your character model. That's kind of cool. Man, boss fight, I think. I don't remember there being bosses in this. The enemy's trying to shut down, trapping you inside of it. Defend yourself until Earth Terror is destroyed or self-destructs. Oh, is this one of those games where you sometimes just have to survive? And now, the number of targets that I'm hitting, I still have a finite number of shots I can fire, so when it has a full shield like that, it limits the things I can hit to protect myself, right, if I target everything. Yeah. Get in full VR. With uh, your subwoofer turned all the way up, right? It would be pretty awesome. really cool so far. Holds up better than I thought it might. what I should be doing to kill it a little bit better now. Oh, 
Oh, the enemy boss difficulty changes based on how well you did in the stage up to that point. Is that true for every stage? Take out all these missiles here so I don't die. I don't think I ever beat level 5. I guess we'll find out today. stage. Opportunity costs! Hey! First try. It's interesting, it's like easy to get super focused in this game and <laughs> I noticed I wasn't talking as it was it's very uh, immersive with the pulsing controller and the loud music. No, what's the uh what's different about the beta version? Cool. So this showing that I got analyzation means that I shot everything. I guess I didn't shoot down absolutely everything. It has different music. Pretty much made indie games. Yeah, that's a good way to think about it. I gotta get max hit points since I screwed up that boss fight. I like that your gun is kind of like a hi-hat. Oh, analyzation should be confused. 100% is did you get to the end of the stage then, right? Doesn't necessarily if you beat the boss, though. I heard about the PS4 version of Res, you know. Is it exactly the same game, just for VR? Oh shit, I missed a hit point upgrade, shit. Oh, I didn't know it was possible to miss the cubes right on. You know. Extra level that's off rails. That's cool. Get to look around with the... Uh, the head then. I see. 100% analyzation on the first four levels to unlock the last one. stage early when I trigger the analyzation of the analysis. Do I want to make sure I've killed everything before I trigger it, or is it usually only spawn at the very end of the stage? This is like that uh, roller coaster mini game from the Gold Saucer in Final Fantasy VII. It's actually very similar controls. That worked the same way as you had to hold down a button and lock on a bunch of stuff. It's all scripted, you can't leave the stage early. Okay, gotcha. So I can shoot it early, but when I leave is gonna be based on the position in the song that I'm at. Okay. Gotcha. I don't spawn shields, dude. That's super rude. Such a cyberpunk hacking interface too, right?
I've never played a Panzer Dragoon game, no. Is one of them a real shooter? Alright, so the red icons are giving me overdrive, which I want to save for the boss fight. I think I own Trial of Eden, but I didn't really play it for very long. Was it made by the same developer? I saw that they mentioned Eden in the story text for this game. Thank you. It is Valentine's Day over where you are, isn't it? I think I got it because I was desperate for a game to use my connect on. That's cool. I just thought it was uh, inspired by Res. I didn't realize it was made by the same dev. That's cool. Hey. I get that health upgrade, man. I need it real bad. Does whether or not you have a health upgrade transition from stage to stage or no? You just unlock it for that level, basically. missed a health power up but maybe there's more than enough of them to be able to get it you know there is can i only get one health upgrade for a stage or can there more than one you could potentially get i think i got two last level Said. You like turned increasingly silver. Cool. Boss fight time. Mars. Giga. Okay. So Giga is the level 2 difficulty, Mega is the level 1. That's cool. I must take damage if I don't open this by the time it gets to me. Fat boy slim? Really? Interesting. So that was not even released? Like for the original Dreamcast version, basically? I like how different this boss is from the first one.
Take it, Mars. Oh god. <laughs> That's very stressful. They're shown in E3. Interesting. Has anyone released them since? Have we gotten a copy of the beta version and put it out? This game's pretty good at conveying to you what is and is not targetable. Just by having a basic pattern on the screen and then having an exception to the pattern. It doesn't use the same rule. It's not like it's always orange or something. Although orange and yellow are a common target color. You have to make the decision of when to release your shot, too, which is cool. Cool. Someone got their hands on it. That's cool. Giga version, so it's a little bit easier than the last one. Very cool. Awesome. I'm not sure how different this game is from the um, the Dreamcast version. As far as I know, it's just prettier. <laughs> it's just widescreen, basically. Data saved. Area three. Ken Ishii. Let's do it. So we did Earth and Mars. I think you want to hit that all in one go, otherwise it doesn't feel quite as cool. Love to see harmonics make a game like this. I guess frequency and amplitude are kind of similar, but not exactly the same idea. Oh, you're supposed to get an animation when you clear the levels for the first time? Oh, bummer, I would have cleared my save. I assumed I could just do them. Actually, I tried to clear my save, but I think it's just connected to my Xbox Live profile, so I would have had to have made a different sign in and played it. Hey, level up. What does the res developer do these days? It's just a specific vision. I think they turn into little Pumas for some reason. Don't question it. Of course they turn into Pumas. Why wouldn't they? You gotcha. So I have to kill the other enemies. I understand. Finish warping. Cool stuff you can do with the original masters to a song. This is definitely one of them. Right? Sixty percent. Have we 
props to Sega for greenlighting stuff like this in Shenmue. The Shenmue is more than a green light, I guess. The game was the most expensive game ever when it came out, right? Do we know why? Did the developer of Shenmue like have some cred already for making other games? Do they have a reason to trust him with all that money? I think I got okay, I got the power up. Very good. He was an arcade god, that's right. Because he made a lot of those arcade games that you play, right? Which is funny because Shenmue is like the least arcadey game ever. What else was big on the Dreamcast? I'm trying to remember. Oh shit. I just got that nice level up. And I lost it. Yes, Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 were on Dreamcast. We had Crazy Taxi, that was also an arcade game. It's just like weird underwater game that I remember a friend having that I never actually played. Are there any like JRPGs for the uh, Dreamcast? I had a lot of oh, Fantasy Star Online. That was a big one because it was one of the first online console games. Dreamcast was way ahead of its time. That was the big problem with Sega is they would keep trying a hardware idea before it was time, basically, and then other people would perfect it. Like Sega CD. Skies of Arcadia. That's right, Skies of Arcadia. I forgot, we played that on GameCube, but the original version was uh, Dreamcast, wasn't it? Space Channel 5 is a weird game. I've never beaten it, but uh, I remember playing a level or two of it. game is Jet Grind Radio? Is that the uh, vandalism game? The spray painting game? Or am I thinking of something else? There's like two or three games that begin with J that I routinely confuse with each other. Venus. There's a distance on this one, jeez. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna be careful here. Watch the... So I don't think I can actually move my character at all. I don't think I have even a slight control over it. Try to hit the ones that are along my plane of movement then. better here. Cool. Oh god. That's so many enemies. <laughs> It's like the use case for overdrive here. I think we'll be okay now. This is a neat boss. I think 
This game probably can't be speed ran, huh? Or does the game actually end faster if you clear these more quickly? I assume that there is a scripted length to every battle in the game, but maybe not. And kill the boss as fast. I guess you could try to do a 100% playthrough and kill the bosses as fast as you can. There we go, nice. Going for 100%. Showing my angle of rotation here is kind of cool. I like how you kind of get some natural rhythm variations based on whether it's correct to spam a button or to try to hold it down. A lot of the game you're trying to hold down. This one I think it's better to try to get single shots off. Depends on how many shots it takes to kill something, right? That was my chance to get some damage and shit. So I can hit some of those things when they're behind me. Like here you have to Choose between hitting the projectiles that can damage you and destroying the stuff on the wall that spawns the projectiles and gets the boss to appear. What difficulty boss did I get here? Was this Giga or Mega? I didn't catch it when I first spawned in. Oh, this is Terra. So I did better on this stage than I did on Earth. Or Mars, I should say. Sweet. Percent analyzation. 99.44% shot down, so I barely missed anything that stage. That's cool. That's percentage of support items that I picked up. Oh, so there'd be like an animation here showing me unlocking the final stage. I see. Telling you basically go back and make sure you have 100% analyzation. Jojoka. Rock is sponge. Okay. I already missed a bunch of enemies there, but that's okay. I think my hit point value is actually carrying over from stage to stage, right? Maybe it starts you off with a different uh, amount of bonus at the bottom. Oh, sponge cheeses and diamonds are forever. Sometimes projectiles don't actually come after you, they're just cool looking. Does blowing up all the projectiles count for getting 100%? This would be a really cool game to be playing with uh, VR and like a sick speaker system. That thumping subwoofer, right? You have to wait for everything to shoot you. Right, that makes sense.
Hey, just worried about not analyzing that section. Could be good. <laughs> I know, right? I think most audio file stuff is... It's sort of like being a, a wine connoisseur, right? A lot of it's placebo. Or it's probably that there's a pretty big difference between very, very cheap headphones and like decent headphones, but then there's very little difference between decent and super expensive headphones. I get frustrated by audio distortion, but that's about it. Like if there's a clicking sound or a feedback effects, it drives me nutty. Andrea can just ignore it. Yeah, definitely diminishing returns. That was the cool part of the stage music. Hey! Now we're Zenyatta! Eight percent analyzation. But you gotta destroy enough of the laser to be able to get past it, I see. There's a laser connecting the two enemies. You have to kill one of them so the laser doesn't damage you. That's what's happening. And those cubes are worth two healing bonuses. This level just gets louder and louder too as it goes way more intense, heavy. Oh, it's not too bad. It's more of an experience than it is a challenge. Uranus, Giga. Cool. I really like the Venus boss with all the little ads it summoned at you. Oh, that's cool. I already blew my, uh, Overcharge skill. Ah, okay, I shouldn't waste too much time destroying the little walls. He resummons them over time. Oh, I leveled down there without realizing it. Let's see what happened. Whoa! Unlocking that door do, because it looks like I couldn't go over there, right? It just affect where the boss is when I try to attack him. Oh shit, but I've been attacking him that whole time. It wasn't clear how far back I could control. I need to 
face them to go in. Okay. Bro, running man. Oh, okay. I can 360 turn. I didn't realize that. Whoa. He's like collecting these as new shields. That's pretty awesome. Focus him down. Ignore the little Syads. First try. You have to face the doors, and if you unlock them slightly earlier, you go in there, and that changes maybe the angle at which you can attack the enemy and get you some upgrades. Okay, that's cool. All right. One more stage. Oh man, enjoy Stardew Valley. I will probably pick up Stardew Valley for Switch once we beat it on well, beat it on stream. You gotta, you gotta play through the first four stages and save all your upgrades. I don't think I ever beat this, which means it must be pretty hard. I don't see any reason why it would have stopped. Ages ago, life was born in the primitive city. An entire stage is just a long hallway, right? Gate of Truth. Gotta get your sci-fi hexagons, man. That's what it's all about. Young life forms constantly. Well, young life forms constantly evolve in order to survive. You can't not analyze this level, right? It looks like it. You always end up moving through the little analysis box at the end. Collected four overdrives. Some prospered, some did not. All sorts of life ebbed and flowed like the tide. This is a really cool track, too. Gotten those towers earlier. Well, the sun fits your funeral. In the quiet rhythm of the mother sea, life grew. Hey, to be Zenyatta again. Hacking techno monk.
game's really good at uh, conveying whether something is dangerous to you or not. So a lot of these upgrades I'm getting are like a bonus for killing things that take a lot of shots to finish off. So. Look at that one right there. Oh no, I missed one! Shit. Ooh. Final boss of Legend Dragoon remind you of the stage. Always oh, seeking to survive and flourish. I can see that. That was a long time ago. That was one of the first games to win the winning spreadsheet. Chaos championed it. Probably should have saved that, but a lot of missiles, a little bit worried. Many of them. Imagine hundred percenting this is really hard without having a full thing of uh, overcharge upgrades. Oh right, Legend of the Guy. My bad. Legend of Dragoon was a long time ago too. Uh, It kind of had that weird polygon look to it, right? I'll explain why I had a little confusion there. I was like, isn't the guy the one that had the Vegeta guy as the final boss? Or to say with PS1, though, everything kind of looked like shitty polygons. That'd be cool. Great prosperity came and life conquered the highest mountains. Love to get one more health upgrade just to see what it looks like. I think it's possible on this stage. There's one more stage of health though after this one, right? After the next one. Whew, that was kinda close. This must be the maximum stage. Mass extinctions came wave after wave. Mushroom clothes, cool. Form, right? Let's not screw up the locks this time, huh? This is such a cool stage. I like how long it is, too. Rez is not Fez. And it's just always quickly refilled. little lasers that come out once you've locked on to them. It's really cool looking. Where are these? Do 
once again prosper, grow, and reproduce. And blew that one up just passively. Nice. 78%. Someday the next great immigration will occur. Drive. Leave this existence looking for another. Okay, they're showing like evolution up until you leave. Exploring space. I like that it's such a common theme in like sci fi. We have no evidence of actually attempting that. It seems like a natural evolution there, right? Ninety-two percent. Journey will begin anew. Whoa, that's cool. The scale has been changing. I like that death voice effect when you kill stuff on the stage. able to kill that thing. Didn't think it was going to be possible. 100% analysis. Nice. Hold within me the memories of all that has passed. This is the thing we've been seeing for like the whole stage, right? This song is actually by a Western composer, isn't it? The rest of them are Japanese, I think. Hey. Playtime's competitive with the world record. Whoa, I'm a little baby. It's the next level from being a sphere as a baby. Everybody knows that. It goes without saying. Who are you? I'm a baby. First phase is very similar to the first boss, Earth. It's cool. I'm not a baby anymore, Bummer. I only get to be a baby if I make it into this level at uh, full health. Man, I'm gonna die to this thing. You think I'm getting closer to blowing those up, and I'm totally not. Cool, I'll figure it out. Thanks, James. You always become a baby no matter what. Okay. Should have picked up all those overdrive nodes before I warped. I just dropped a bunch of health nodes, too. Don't come any closer. Got all the bosses again in here. Let's 
Cool different variations of all the bosses we've already fought. I'm a big fan. Inevitability, right? Why? Oh, this boss is pretty tricky with all those ads it was spawning last time. Oh, okay, we only do this phase. Not the, okay, very good. before it inevitably damages me. I might need to follow them anyway. Okay, good. Phew. Got him. Hey, Dark Star, what's up? Aren't you afraid? Always. Permanently. time. Two more times, I think. So if I hit once more, I can still survive after that shit. I don't know why I'm so bad at taking out these missiles. Maybe that's because I'm holding down buttons and I should just be mashing against them. I want to redo the stage! Come on! Finish it! Hurry, monitor now. <laughs> Don't run so fast, dude. me for a second, I got really worried. Whew. One health upgrade. No more, uh, overdrive, though. Save me. Okay. Help bar in the distance. Whoa. I feel like the final level is almost as long as the rest of the game combined.
There's the main ring. That's the actual boss. No! Lasers! Whew. Whoa, it's a face! Cool. So it's his fault he should have done better. <laughs> I can actually attack the head yet. Yeah, right? Doesn't look like it. Ooh, health upgrade, yes. Mid stage health upgrades, please, yes, please. Might be what's in those things. Oh god, didn't even see the missiles. There might have been another health upgrade flying around me here. I think that's what those might be. Building up a lady. Birth of Cortana, the game. circle upgrades, then I get another hit point, which I desperately need. I was actually, when I was holding and targeting, that was what was getting me killed before. That's why I decided to spam click. Back to, okay, I thought we were being baby in a second. Too good to be true. I'll give you a decent number of uh, health up upgrades in this stage, I appreciate that. Now, yay! And a sunrise. Those little diamonds are upgrades, right? Sometimes putting all the enemies on a single plane and making this volume of enemies creates a certain musical effect that you wouldn't hear otherwise. It's really cool. Tried holding there. No luck. <sighs> Shit. Way too much damage there. He 
Zero four, no! Don't screw up now! Shoot. Darn. 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 Bummer. That's a bummer. So, is it worth attempting that stage again? I like how it still gives you the credits, even if you fail on the final boss. I would say I have that volume. I feel like I, what I need to do is, if I were to try it again, I'd have to save all of my uh, overdrives for that final phase. It's hard to say, Propagable. Yeah, I, I struggle with killing those rockets when there's so many of them, unless if I have an overdrive, like, they do, like, three damage to me all at once. Whether I hold it down or try to tap it. If you aim just above the shaft and mash, you can shoot down a lot of them before they spread out. Okay. I pulled it off a couple times. What's your preference, uh, Spiky? I'm guessing it'll be another 30, 40 minutes if I attempt it again. Which would just eat into SMT Synchronicity Prologue and Near Automata. It's up to you. Yeah, that explains why I haven't beaten this game. I think <laughs> I probably played this before it got about as far. I don't remember that boss, but I probably got about that far and was like... I don't know if I want to roll right back into that. Does it always play credits for you whenever you die or only in that stage? She still lies trapped in the system. One more attempt, okay. We'll give it a shot. Get a slightly different ending if you can maintain baby form. Is baby form better for reasons other than hit points? I mean, there's a good last stage of music over here. You said, no matter what, if I get to the final stage, I'm a baby, so I don't have to freak out about making sure I've got max health as I move through this area. Maintain baby mode as long as possible. takes longer for the rocket to shoot for some forms. <laughs> but you're not getting upgrades, right? Some of the lower forms are actually faster and better, I guess. save all my overdrive for that last phase when I have to start dealing with the rockets. I wasted it on a form that wasn't necessary last time.
cool. I feel like the polygon parts of the game, like, have aged much better than the little sequences when you're warping and it tells you about, like, life in the ocean. Four overdrives. I might have actually been okay if I had uh, picked up the overdrives from the first phase that dropped. I didn't even realize it was happening before it was too late to get them. that I was going to save all of them. Well, I guess I should take some damage here, right? Because I'm going to get a full heal at the end anyway, so that was kind of a waste. All right, I'll fix it next time. I won't do that next time, I need to say. Easy to panic with your super bombs. Do that Nikaruga as well. It'll be a fun game to stream someday. Oh, uh, maybe the only the little... There's only certain ones that can damage me, I think, maybe? Those ones look like mines instead of missiles. Yeah. I think I got Ikaruga. I had it on uh, GameCube, and then I bought the Ikaruga HD for 360. There's another game I haven't beaten. I've gotten to the last level many times, but I've never beaten it. The last stage is really hard in that one, too. Overdrive upgrades, please. Uh, you briefly turn into a baby while you upgrade. You gotcha. That's pretty neat. PS2 res? I thought it was just Dreamcast and uh, 360 for the new Res Infinite.
lot of Dreamcast games got ported to PS2. Uh, kind of like what's happening with the Wii U and the Switch. How many years after the Dreamcast was released did the PS2 come out? that one close. It is a really cool level though. I mean, see how it justifies the game. Hey, I need one of those. Overdrive, max, fantastic. And we'll save that for the boss and then save it as long as we can into the boss fight. Okay. Fairly close. PS2 had a long, took a long time to add a network component as well. I remember playing EverQuest Online Adventures and uh, Final Fantasy XI on there. Nine nine ninety nine. Ninety two 92%. Almost there. Zenyatta butt. the extra overdrive because it'll be like cleaner. Alright, baby form. Second try. Let's give it a shot. It's 11 minutes for the level. And the boss is like 10 minutes? far is going much more smoothly, although once the lasers get that close, I'm already screwed. Can I get baby form back after I lose it if I get health upgrades later in the stage, or no? Base transition here before more lasers. Come on, dude. You 
can regain baby form. Oh shit, I forgot to pick up the crap. Alright. Next stage. Still have max overdrive with just a little bit of health, so. damage there. The last circle. Whew, okay. Decent. Decent. If I had gotten the blue thing in the first round, I'd be one away from a baby form return. Why? Try to just DPS race them rather than do the mechanic. It worked the first time. Show me where the boss... No, it doesn't. It's just a way to determine true north, I guess. This one's giving me way more trouble than last time for some reason. This didn't damage me last time. It was just cool looking. Thanks, prep. Totally should have turned on heart rate monitor. I didn't realize this stage would be so hard. It's pretty rough. The rest of the stage is very reasonable by comparison. The rest of the game up to this point. Save me. All right, let's save the robot lady. Best we can.
A button's getting kind of stuck. It's a bad time for that to happen. Now, do those little diamonds that contain upgrades on them, are they any threat to me? Or are they just upgrades? How do the core phases work? It just lasts until you've done a certain amount of damage to it. It's like one fifth of its health. It's 120% HP. Alright, I'll just use the rest of my overdrives on all the remaining core phases. Very good. I think last time I got to this phase, I was out of overdrive, or maybe I had one left. Yeah, right. I don't think I've ever taken damage during this part here, only during the core phase sequences. Triggered that a little bit early, but that's okay. Oh, I ended the phase. Interesting. So if you do enough damage to the core, the phase just ends and any remaining projectiles disappear. Good to know. It's fine, nothing to worry about. I think there are some projectiles that can hurt me. They like hit the walls on either side of me. Those things right there, I think, can hurt me. I also have quite a bit more health this attempt. Last time I think I had, uh, I want to say, I was in like second or third form or something. my ultimates back too, not that it matters. Well, it might matter for this phase in case this ever becomes dangerous. So far I don't think it particularly is. Maybe some of those shots can hurt you. Hmm, those ones maybe. Okay. Whew. Oh, I leveled down, bummer. I thought I was safe, I thought I was already dead, but it doesn't look like it always clears out all the projectiles. Oh god, don't die now, not after all that. Finish it off. Definitely not getting the baby ending now. DPS! Deeps! Big deeps! Alright, I don't feel bad about not getting the baby ending after taking that much damage there. 
That's the only difference. <laughs> She's like, yay, I'm a person. That's a really cool game. Thanks for uh, putting that on subblock, Spikey. I can see why you hold it until you, or you held until you had a, um, a long block for it, given that losing on a single level increases the length of the playthrough pretty significantly. Five second cutscene was totally worth it. Well, before, if you had said, nah, you should move to the next game, I would have felt kind of bad marking it as beaten <laughs> on the spreadsheet. Yeah, I got to the final boss and died. Would be my beat condition. Die on final boss. Cool. After the credits play here, we'll take a short break and then switch to uh, Shin Megami Tensei Synchronicity Prologue. Spikey pointed out that he had a game that might have the shortest title or one of the shortest titles among any games we've played on stream. We're about to play a game with the longest title. Yeah, I totally agree, Spike. You gotta kinda do that in one sitting. How you doing, Chaos? How is your Tuesday slash Wednesday treating you? I'm almost certain I didn't beat this game before very likely died on the boss partway through and then didn't want to run the stage again. I'm glad to finally be able to say I beat Res. I want to try out Res Infinite now, or once it goes on sale. I'll definitely pick it up whenever I give in and get a VR rig. I think I'm still waiting for a killer app to come out. Now why does it say she's still trapped within the system? Do you have to get like 100% to get better than that? Not just beat her? Or beat the thing that's containing her, I guess? Oh, is this title screen different based on whether she's alive or not, too? Get a baby ending on 100% shot down. Good lord, that sounds rough. All right, we'll be back in a few. I'm gonna run to the restroom real quick and get um, Shimigami Tensei set up. See you guys soon.